Hello friends, and welcome to a virtual gallery activity from the Missouri History Museum. This activity is part of our January 2020 Virtual Learning and Homeschool Day. The theme for January is St. Louis Stories, where we examine stories, oral histories, and lore from the St. Louis region. My name is Andy, and in this activity, I'd like to talk about three St. Louis women who were all storytellers in their own unique way. When you think of storytellers, the first people that come to mind are people who write stories or read stories out loud to us. But storytellers can come from unexpected places as well. These three women all told stories in their own ways and showed us that anyone can be a storyteller. The first woman we'll learn about today is Caroline Thummel, who lived from 1873 to 1947. Caroline was a lawyer as one of Missouri's first practicing attorneys, Caroline used storytelling skills to argue on behalf of her clients. Although she joined the American Bar Association in 1908, Caroline faced prejudice from men in Missouri who refused to let her join the Missouri Bar. Nevertheless, she became a fierce advocate for change. Caroline argued passionately for the rights of people accused of crimes or imprisoned. She believed that the punishment should fit the crime after all, why should a man who stole $3,000 be sentenced to the same prison term as a man who stole 25 cents? Caroline also fought against the way prisoners were treated at the St. Louis workhouse, where prisoners were abused and neglected. Caroline told the stories of people who had been mistreated by the justice system, people who often did not have a voice of their own. Okay, it's time for a discussion question. Why are storytelling skills important to being a good lawyer? You can pause the video here if you need more time to think. And when you're ready, you can come with me to our next stop. This is Anna Brackett, who lived from 1836 to 1911. Anna was a teacher. She told stories through engaging lessons that inspired her students to learn. Anna was from Boston, Massachusetts and taught in several places around the country before becoming a vice principal and moving to St. Louis. Anna lived in St. Louis for nine years and eventually became the principal of a normal school, which was a secondary school that trained teachers. She was the first woman principal of that type of school in the United States. That school eventually became Harris Stowe State University. Later, Anna moved to New York City with her partner, Ida Elliott. Anna and Ida started a private school for girls and adopted two girls of their own. At that time, it was not common for same-sex couples to live together and raise children together, so Anna and Ida were certainly ahead of their time. Anna also put her storytelling abilities to work, writing books, essays, and poetry. She was a woman of many talents and a true trailblazer who charted her own course in life. Before we move on, I have another discussion question for you to think about. Why is a, being a good storyteller important for being a good teacher? You can pause the video now if you think you need more time to discuss. And when you're ready, you can come with me to our last stop. This is Anna Maria von Fuhl, who lived from 1786 to 1823. Anna Maria was an artist. As a young girl growing up in Lexington, Kentucky, Anna Maria learned how to paint and draw and early on showed great talent as an artist. Using her pencils and watercolors, Anna Maria could tell stories through vivid images of people and places. As an adult, Anna Maria often visited her brother in St. Louis, and in 1821, she moved there permanently. Having never married and having no household to manage, Anna Maria spent her days sketching and painting. She captured natural scenery like the Mississippi River and local wildlife, but also the people of St. Louis, such as men working on riverboats, women in fancy dresses, and Native Americans. Because photography did not exist at the time, Anna Maria's sketches and watercolor paintings give us an important look at colonial St. Louis. All right, it's time for one last discussion question. Why are storytelling skills important to being a painter? As before, you can pause the video now if you need time to think and discuss. Well, folks, that's all the time we have for this virtual gallery activity. However, please check out all the other activities for our January 2020 Virtual Learning and Homeschool Day, such as more activities like this one, 
virtual workshops, and craft activities. Thanks for joining me, and remember to keep making history.